Hello everyone, welcome back to my another video and in this video we will continue with the AI series and we will create a Salesforce record triggered flow using an AI agent. So if you have watched my previous video, I explained what is an AI agent. Uh, to brief it, so AI agent is kind of like a software that can uh, do tasks auto autonomously, like you can give it a prompt and uh, so it will serve the web and do that necessary task. So we will see whether it can create flows in Salesforce. So which AI of agent we will use, we'll use the operator AI agent. It is an AI agent designed to autonomously perform tasks on the web. So some examples include booking flights, making restaurant reservations, manage online shopping. Uh, it was launched in January 2025 and it is currently only available to chat GPT pro subscribers. So let's start with the demo. I'm, I'm now on the operator website. You can see the URL operator.chatgpt.com. So um, now I have to log into my Salesforce org. So how I how I can do it? Let me just put a prompt that can you uh, navigate to login.salesforce.com. So it has opened a browser and it's thinking now if I do a full screen, so you can see that it is log it is redirecting to uh, login.salesforce.com in a chrome browser and like i if i scroll over it i have an option to take control so if i click on take control so uh, if i click the option to take control i have the control now and i can input the username password for my org and i can click on login so um so your operator cannot log in for you so you have to take control and you have to log in uh, so that it is able to perform the task on that specific website so i'll navigate to another window in this window i have uh, logged into my salesforce org i'll just check are you still log in to salesforce org i'll just check to verify if i'm still logged in here and then we are going to give it a task so um, it's it's thinking and yes, I'm still logged in. Now I'm going to give it a task. Okay, so now I'm giving it a prompt that uh, create a new record triggered flow on contact object which updates the last name of the contact to update updated by operator AI agent. So let's see what it does. So we'll click on enter and um, the operator AI agent will start working on it. So let's see uh, if it is able to make it. So this is going to be the interesting part of the video. I'll just do a full screen. And uh, what and on the left hand side, you can uh, see what's like um, the operator thinking and what's uh, going on. So uh, right now it's just thinking like it's creating a new record triggered flow. So uh, it has clicked on the new flow button. Awesome. The new flow button, uh, the new flow screen has opened up. It has clicked on start from scratch. Then it will select. Let's see if it is able to select a record triggered. Awesome. It is able to select a record triggered flow. So let's see. I'm curious whether it makes it or not so it's like as i uh, had given the object to be contact it's, it's selecting and contact so it's setting the trigger for when a record is updated okay so that we did not provide it's doing on its own now it's doing a fast field updates Okay, so it knows that you can you should only do it in before update and not after update. So if you don't know fast field updates refer to the before trigger. So now uh, let's see what it does. So it's trying to add the update records element. Let's see if it is able to do it. Okay. So it has selected free form option. Okay. 
oh my god <laughs> so it has automatically changed from auto layout to free form and it's inputting some values and it it has dragged the update and re update records and it's putting some values update contact last name oh my god uh, okay so it, it's selecting which field to update so the field is last name right so it's it has selected the last name so you can see on the left side updating contacts last name and then uh, it's like updated by operator ai agent oh my god okay and clicking on done now let's see if uh, it is able to connect the start to update records okay so it is able to do that uh okay so it what it did is like it added two connections okay so now it's uh, adding the flow label it has clicked on the save button and like it's uh, putting the name, contact, flow, contact, update, flow. Awesome. So, okay. So this is, uh, I'll take control now. So let's see what the AI agent did with the flow and like whether it was a pass or a fail. So it's now loading. So not sure how it added two connections <laughs> to from the start button to uh, the update records. Okay, I deleted one connection and I click on saved and then click on activate. Okay, that's that's really nice. So it was able to do it like I'd say 90% part it was able to do it. So like, uh, so this is the power of AI. So or to all those people like uh, why I have created this video. This is just like to see to let you know about the advances what AI has done in the last years and like um you can see it on your own it can even create a flow just put some prompts and it can create a flow for you and like even complex flows like this is a very basic flow it can create a complex flows like sometimes you'll have to come between and uh, like do some uh some task to help it but like overall uh with training further training it can uh do the work more precisely so that's my overall outcome so Thanks everyone for watching and do subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'll continue this series uh, where I'm going to do like whether an AI agent can create a GitHub pull request. So do subscribe to my channel and uh, continue waiting for the videos. Thanks everyone for watching.